Now, luckily, we don't have to make beautiful websites alone. The thing is that a lot of smart and generous people have contributed code to the internet for you to, to use for free. And that kind of code is called open source code. That means people happily and freely share that their code so that you, you can reuse that code on your websites. And those codes are now popularly shared on a website called GitHub. So I'm on github.com and if I'm gonna look for different CSS libraries, libraries is just a word of, of collection of things, right? So a code collection of certain CSS styles, let's say. So if I want certain CSS libraries, I can just do CSS libraries over here and look for different projects or repositories which are available. So now the first listing of the most popular one or the most starred one is called the Animate CSS Library. So let's take a look. If I just click over here, um, let's just click on this particular link for demo. You see that actually I can make certain effects with CSS as well, which is out of the scope of this particular course, but that's actually possible with CSS, you see? That's pretty fancy, right? So if you select a particular style, you can actually apply that style on your particular element. So let's take a look on how to use libraries, CSS libraries in our project. So I say view on GitHub over there and over here, they should have how to use this particular library. So you can use it via Bower or NPM, which are certain advanced topics, not in, in scope for this particular uh, course, but if you join LF Coding Pro, you will learn all of these advanced techniques of what tools developer use. But since, since we're not gonna be using that, we simply, basically what we need to do is download this animate.css file somehow, okay, and include it just as a link. That's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. So basically over here, they have already uh, provided us this particular option. So if we actually include this particular link, it's actually referring this library from this jsdeliver.net website. So cdn.jsdeliver.net is just a website where they host all these libraries. So we as developers can simply use it, all right? So I can actually copy this link, all right? And they actually have two options. So Cloudflare is another website, website that does the same. So I can simply include this particular link on my particular website. So if I just include this just over here, just like we include our CSS files over here, you're simply including the same CSS file, but from a different from the animate.css uh, uh, CSS actually, and it's just referring from the internet. So if I just save and refresh, nothing happens, but this particular CSS file is now available in our web page. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is learn how to use animate.css. So it seems like that's, you know, they're just classes, right? CSS is just classes and IDs and selectors. So we just see how to use that. If you, if I want to zoom in, I can just apply the zoom in class or the zoom up class or something like that, right? So they have this example over here. So if I just copy this example, which simply says that, okay, this is the H1 with a class of animate and infinite and bounce and delay two seconds. And the text is example, nothing complicated. Okay. So, since those CSS file classes are available, I can simply put this over here, refresh, and you see that whatever element I put in will have that effect. Okay, so if I, let's say if I have a div with a class of, uh, or I'm not gonna put in any classes, but I can just actually style it, inline styles, and I can just make it, let's say, width 500 pixels and Height is also 500 pixel. And I will make, let's say background color is red. Okay, save, refresh, that's a box. And now I can apply all of these classes over here. Class is equal to this. Save, refresh, and now this is going to do the same. Let's just remove this, save, refresh and you see this box is now animating. So pretty cool, right? So you can actually import different kinds of libraries, which may style your buttons, may style your headers, may style your layouts, may style your entire websites. 
So with that, I want to share with you one library or one website, which is called CSSDB.co, which, uh, which, which is listing all the popular CSS libraries. Twitter Bootstrap is a very popular one, which actually helps you design responsive web design websites and stuff like that. It's very popular. I Love Coding actually uses it. I'm a big fan of it. And I Love Coding Pro actually has a course on that too. Uh, Font Awesome is a very popular library as well for showing fonts on your website. So if you in include that particular library just by adding that particular link and then use certain uh, classes or certain elements, the icons are going to show on your website. So these icons, these icons are going to show on your website. All right. Now let's take a look more. So if I go over here, go back and go back again to GitHub. Actually, I want to go to GitHub go back and CSS libraries, right? So let's say if I want certain uh, Instagram filters, so rather than coding it myself, I can hand code it myself as well, but I can include this particular library and have these kind of effects on my pictures, let's say, all right? So play around with these libraries, make your websites beautiful and interesting and fun. And the trick is, just so far to stick with CSS because since you don't know JavaScript, which has advanced features, you just want to stick with libraries that have the CSS element only. Because if you try to play around with JavaScript and you don't know the basics, you're gonna not you're gonna have difficulty. So that's pretty much it for this video. Play around, have fun, and I'm gonna to talk to you in the next video.